Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live, everyone. Warren Buffett, a.k.a. Buffy, the stock market slayer, remained on par for his course, at least, on his Bitcoin stance during the Berkshire Hathaway annual shareholders meeting in Omaha, Nebraska, on Saturday. Here with more, we've got Yahoo Finance's David Hollerith. David, between Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger, we've heard Bitcoin called rat poison squared and disgusting, respectively, I believe. And the tenor continued over the weekend. So how is the cryptocurrency world reacting? That's right. Uh, you know, I, I think, uh, Brad, at this point, um, it, it is par for the course. Uh, the Oracle of Omaha, you know, he said he would not buy all the Bitcoin in the world. But if it was worth, it would not be worth $25. Um, and I think added to that, the reactions uh, from the cryptocurrency uh, investor class, at least, you know, over social media um, was was pretty apparent in that, um, you know, it's what they expected. Yet it still hurts. It didn't it hasn't hurt hurt the price too much. Bitcoin has been taking up a little bit um, over the past day. It's it's fallen down a little bit over the weekend. Um, but I'll add to a little bit more explanation to what Buffett said. He sort of gave more of it, you know, more detail to why he, you know, could find uh, or finds Bitcoin um, rat poison squared. Um, and what he added essentially was that uh, he, he, you know, Buffett got back down to the fact that uh, Bitcoin still doesn't really have a fundamental value or a way for um, analysts to fit its valuation based on something like a like a stock which has cash cash flows obviously so he got into the the idea basically of a productive versus unproductive asset sort of saying that it's hard to classify something as ha having any value if you if you're not actually getting any any money out of it outside of what other people will pay for it this has been for a long time the fundamental uh, criticism I, I think you would say of bitcoin um, you know, similar to gold in that it it, it doesn't have any cash flows and there's there's really uh, no value that's earned from it. Um, that being said, there is a way to earn money by staking uh, crypto assets, but that's sort of a another another uh, topic altogether. Um, but just uh, to quote him, he said, to have value, assets have to deliver something. And so this. This uh, was sort of echoed by by Munger, who said, uh, Charlie Munger, Buffett's long term investing partner, who said, in my life, I try to avoid things that are stupid and evil and make me look bad and bad in comparison to somebody else. And Bitcoin does all three. Munger also added that Bitcoin is evil because it undermines the U.S. federal Federal Reserve system. Now, power players uh, more on the Silicon Valley side of uh, you know the financial world, Mark Andreessen and Elon Musk both uh, tweeted reactions. And Andreessen sort of criticized uh, Buffett's other investments for enabling diabetes, while Elon Musk uh, more so just hit on the fact that Buffett said Bitcoin so many times. Um, I don't think there's a lot of content to this more than more so than just the um, thesis that a lot of people, a lot of uh, larger players in the technology sector disagree with Warren. Yeah, we're going to continue to see what Warren perhaps does or doesn't say about Bitcoin to this point in time. But we do know in the world of cryptocurrency elsewhere, there was also this Ethereum network crash, we should say. And this was prompted by a board eight metaverse kind of launch that that took place. And so what more can you tell us about that? Because as I understand, it, it wasn't the price of Ethereum that crashed. It was the actual consensus model. Break this down for us. Uh, that's right, Brad. So uh, also on Saturday around 9 p.m., uh, the Board Ape Yacht Club creator Yuga Labs opened a virtual land sale for their previously announced metaverse called Other Side. So the, the, the deeds which are issued as NFTs for the land sale uh, are called other deeds and about uh, 55,000 parcels of virtual land. These other deeds were issued as or, or listed as NFTs and sold on Saturday night on uh, um, NFT marketplaces such as OpenSea. Now, what happened was um, leading up to this, um, the value and price of of these NFTs ranged somewhere between five thousand and seven thousand dollars based on the price of Ethereum. Um, now, they they uh, listed these land sell, sales on uh, Saturday night in, in order to, 
I, what can be assumed to find a time of, of the lowest amount of buying, but that still didn't stop um, sort of congestion, congestion in terms of uh, transactional demand on the Ethereum network to skyrocket, which in turn causes the cost for transactions to also increase. In this case, investors paid anywhere from uh, $5,000 to $6,000 on um, NFT transaction fees across Ethereum. Um, so what you, what you had essentially were, were um, investors paying just as much for the transaction costs as they were for uh, these metaverse parcels of land. Um, now, the temporary crash of the Ethereum network um, it was more so what, what, what had happened is that uh, it, it just slowed down um, whether how much uh, transactions could be processed on Ethereum. Now, it's not anything that, that has halted uh, the blockchain permanently, hmm. um, but we have seen ApeCoin, which is sort of the cryptocurrency related to uh, this other side met metaverse. It uh, rose um, a lot uh, leading up to the land issuance. Um, and since then, ApeCoin has fallen by more than 40% as of this morning and now hangs at $15 per coin. Yeah, 24% lower for ApeCoin over the past two days in aggregate there. Yahoo Finance's David Hollerith breaking down all things crypto and that space over the weekend. David, appreciate the breakdown there.